Okay, I want to do a short video on this. Uh, I think this is the latest locomotive I did. Um, I did it about a year ago, and then just put it in the box. This one's a HO scale Walther's. Um, fairly new. It's got a Tsunami 2 sound system in it. Um, it came with nothing. I, I took out the DC board, redid all the lights to LED lights. Uh, this one has headlights. It also has um, step lights. It has truck lights. And it also has a cab light. So I'll go ahead and turn those on one by one. There's the headlights. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but it has uh, number board lights as well. So that's function zero. That's pretty typical. And then four, and it makes it look like it's flickering slightly. It's and it also makes it look slightly brighter than it really is. But that's the truck light. Of course, there's one on each side uh, with the lights out. It, it, uh, I can try it real quick. The cast a nice, realistic light on the ground. I'll probably go ahead and leave that off for now just so it's easier to see. Um, so it's function uh, 24 turns that on and these these are brighter than it is uh, it's brighter on camera since it's dark it's trying to overcompensate but it's got step lights on both sides under function 25 then function 26 turns on the number boards. I'll toggle that there. And then finally, 27 turns on the cab light. A little hard to see unless you really get down in there on top of it. There you can see it. And again, it's a bit, it's a little, it's quite a bit brighter on this camera, but everything looks so much better. Let's see if I can get it more realistic. There we go. That, that's pretty much what I'm seeing. Should have done that from the get-go, huh? So the cab, cab light is not going to light up the layout like some of the older locomotives uh, would. It would just be way too bright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn the light back on. Let it autofocus. Um, you can either turn the throttle one notch or you can press, I think it's F6, will notch it. So there's your startup. Use your bell. And your horn. It goes through probably about, well, it's got 27 functions, so um, 
you could link to the soundtracks Tsunami 2 website it'll go through every sound and function it's got we'll go ahead and get it running here a little bit It does have KD couplers on it. And apply the brakes. It's also set up to, um, so the prime mover when it's going uphill or pulling a heavy load will go ahead and notch up automatically. So it sounds like it's more labored. I can demonstrate that just by putting my finger on the track. So I backed up for that just so you could see that the throttle wasn't being manipulated to do that. Bring it to a stop. And then, uh, let's see. So F6 is what notches it down. F5 would notch it up. So it's kind of like having the reverser in neutral. So if I press F6 again, it's going to go into shutdown. 